Alright, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon Wi-Fi battle. Today we are having an OU tier match against my girlfriend. And today is a very special day, guys, because today is actually my birthday. So I wanted to give you guys something a little special on my birthday. I also come bearing great news. My job finally hired some new people, so hopefully I won't get stuck working like crazy ass hours. And upload should return at a somewhat reasonable <laughs> clip I guess uh, hopefully there won't be these three week gaps in between uploads I know you guys hate that shit I fucking miss you guys I hope you guys miss me as well but I know you're here for the battle so let's get into that look at my opponent's team she's got the Gyarados the Mimikyu Greninja fuck what is this thing called Excadrill she has the damn Clefable this thing is a pain in the ass and she also has the Mega Venusaur look ah, while looking at my team if I could talk right I have the Tapu Koko, the Mimikyu, Kartana, the Halucha, Latios, and an Excadrill of my own. So I actually got this team from my boy Omega Latios from Discord. I'll leave a link to his channel. I think he does YouTube as well. Um, I'll leave a link to his channel in the description below. But uh, he said that he laddered really high with his team. So <laughs> it looked like a really fun team. So I wanted to try it out. And uh, I hope you guys will enjoy the show. So the battle begins, my opponent is going to lead off their Gyarados as I'm going to lead off my Tapu Koko. So this is honestly the epitome of a perfect first turn for your boy here. So I'm going to go ahead and set up my Electric Terrain. My opponent's going to set up the Intimidate, not that it matters. I am a special attacker with choice specs. I'm going to go ahead and swap out here because I kind of figure I knew my opponent had the uh, Excadrill in the back. I kind of figured that's what she would go for. I'm going to bring out Kartana as that is exactly what my opponent goes for. She brings out the Excadrill. Good old Drillbert there. I might have to steal that nickname. That's a pretty damn good one. I like it. And uh, she's going to bring in the Gyarados once again. Get the Intimidate off. But Kartana does not give a fuck. Kartana has base like 180 something attack. It is something ridiculous. Even after the Intimidate, that knockoff does a shit ton. And I'm able to knock off her Lumberry, which is pretty nice. So here my opponent's going to go for the Dragon Dance, which is basically what all Gyarados try to do. And I kind of figured the only Mon on my team that really wants to deal with a Dragon Dancing Gyarados is probably my Mimikyu with its Disguise. Because I can basically get a free hit off, or so I thought here. She's going to go for the Waterfall, break my Disguise, and of course she fucking flinches me. So <laughs> it kind of sets me back a little bit because I would have been able to go for a Play Rough plus a Shadow Sneak. And that probably would have killed her, but now because of the flinch I'm basically forced to go for two Shadow Sneaks just to get some chip damage off. And uh, unfortunately, she's going to kill off my Mimikyu with another Waterfall. So, yeah, that flinch kind of fucked me a little bit there. <laughs> you do not want to fuck around with a Gyarados when it has a Dragon Dance, let me tell you. So, I'm going to bring out Kartana. I can actually outspeed this thing because I am Choice Scarf. So, even, even after her plus one speed boost, it doesn't matter. Kartana's faster with the Scarf. So, she's actually going to swap out. I guess she kind of figured I was Scarfed at this point. She brings out Excadrill as I go for the knockoff to get rid of her Life Orb. And uh, does a decent amount of damage, actually, to the uh, Excadrill. Now I'm going to bring out the Latios. And uh, my opponent's going to swap out into the damn Clefable. This thing is such a pain in the ass. It's so bulky. And honestly, I don't really have anything to deal with Clefable that well. I don't have any steel attacks on my two steel mons, which really sucks. And I don't have any poison attacks. So I'm basically just going to have to whittle away at this thing slowly. And uh, you see here that I'm actually a dragon dancing... Well, it's actually a mix set, but uh, yeah, it's kind of it's kind of weird to see a dragon dancing fucking Latios, but that's just uh, the kind of guy I am, I guess. So here I'm gonna bring out Holy Moly. Kind of wanted to make her think that I had a Steel type move and try to like force her out or whatever. It actually works. She goes for the Moon Blast. It doesn't do that much damage, and she swaps out back out into the Gyarados. Here I'm gonna take up this opportunity to set up some Stealth Cocks. And uh, here, I kind of figured she'd probably try to go for a Dragon Dance, so I'm just going to go for the Toxic. It's kind of a ballsy play, really. She could have just obliterated me with a uh, Waterfall, but for whatever reason, she goes for the Crunch here. I don't know why, but uh, lol, I live on 69 HP. That's fucking the bee's knees, so here I'm going to swap out and keep Holy Moly in the back. Because I do have the Rapid Spin in case she wants to set up Hazards. Now that I think about it, I don't think she has a... Well, I guess she has Gyarados. Or, sorry, not Gyarados. She has Greninja, which could set up Spikes. But anyway, I'm going to bring out the uh, Kartana here as she goes for the Waterfall. And I'm basically going to eat that because of resistance and stuff. 
Here she's going to go ahead and swap out into the Mary Jane as I go for the knockoff and we see that we do not knock off an item so that tells me that this is definitely a Mega Venusaur. Which is something I don't fucking want to see because this thing's bulky as shit so I'm going to bring back out Holy Moly basically just to sack it off because I, I kind of felt at this point I don't really need it uh, anymore so here she's just going to go for the HP fire and that is going to kill off Holy Moly. But Holy Moly did a decent job, I mean, it, it poisoned the Gyarados, it got Stealth Rocks up, that's basically what that man's job was, <laughs> and he did it. So, here I'm going to bring out the Tapu Koko, set up the Electric Terrain once again, as my opponent is going to swap back out into Parry, and uh, Gyarados is going to go down to some Stealth Cocks here. Finally, this damn Gyarados is gone. I tried to go for Volt Switch there, but obviously it's not going to happen, so... Uh, here, my opponent brings out Talky Tina. I don't understand the nickname there, but she brings out her own damn Mimikyu, and this thing is a fucking monster. I know that. I'm just going to go for another Volt Switch here and uh, break this thing's disguise, because once its disguise is broken, it's definitely a lot more manageable for my team. Like I said before, my Steel-type mons don't have a Steel-type move, so I'm basically just going to have to do like raw damage to this thing. So We're going to have to raw dog it a little bit, but uh, she's going to go for the uh, Swords Dance there. And she decides to swap out because I guess she thought maybe I had a steel type move. She brings out Drillbird, who is going to die to another knockoff. I was actually surprised that killed, but I guess with the uh, Stealth Rocks it killed. And I'm going to get a Beast Boost. And uh, my opponent's going to bring out Mary Jane once again. I go for the knockoff. Honestly, thinking with the Beast Boost it would kill, but unfortunately that's not the case. And my Kartana is going to go down, but Kartana did a fantastic job this battle. I know I like literally only went for knockoff this battle, but Kartana did pretty damn well. Here I'm gonna bring out my Halucha, going for the, uh, or I'm gonna get the uh, electric seed boost in the electric terrain, raising my defense by one stage, but it also lets me use acrobatics at its maximum power. So my opponent's gonna swap out into this damn Clefable. Yeah, acrobatics actually. Like, I, I didn't have any attack boost or anything, but Acrobatics still did a decent chunk of damage. I'm pretty impressed. And uh, I'm just going to go for it again. I know she's going to kill me with the Moon Blast. Or at least I think so. I don't know. She actually crits me here, which I don't know if that crit mattered. I want to say it probably didn't just because Halucha's like frail as shit. <laughs> but, um, yeah, honestly, I just wanted to get her mons like as low as possible so I could bring in Tapu Koko and basically clean up the rest of her team. So... That's pretty much what I'm going for. I am a little bit behind. She has four mons left to my two. But like I said before, Tapu Koko is going to come in here and basically clean up shop here. So she goes for the protect, basically just to stall out my uh, electric terrain a little bit. She's actually going to swap. I thought what she was going to try to do is swap something into die and then bring out Clefable to stall out the electric terrain more. I thought that's what she was going to go for, but we'll see here that she doesn't. So she brings in Venusaur, which dies to Stealth Rocks. Now she's going to bring out the Greninja, and I was kind of, I thought she would like outspeed me and go for like Hydro Pump or something, but apparently Tapu Koko is actually faster and she goes for the Water Shuriken. Unfortunately for her, she only gets two and it doesn't do that much, and I'm able to kill off the Greninja there with a Thunderbolt. Her next Mon is going to be this damn Mimikyu, and thank god I can get rid of this thing. I'm, I'm at a high enough HP stat where a Shadow Sneak is not going to kill me. And I uh, just go for another T-Bolt. This is Choice Specs T-Bolt from a Tapu Koko in Electric Terrain. Of course that Mimikyu is going to go down. And uh, here I'm going to go for another T-Bolt as Clefable is going to die. And I think that is all of her mons now. So good game, Bay. Uh, we will definitely rematch again. I always love battling you. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this battle as well. And I'm sorry that it took so long to get another battle out for you guys. But... I'm back now, hopefully, uh, like I said before in this video, I hope battles and shit will, will be more, uh, fuck, what's the word I'm looking for? I guess more, it won't take as long to get the next battle out, is basically what I'm saying. I'm I'm sorry, guys, I'm really tired. It's 3 a.m. while I'm recording this, but I'm going to get out of here, guys, and go to bed. I love you guys so much. You guys mean the world to me, and uh, I guess peace out.